Hey, you wanna log on here? We could check out the radius yeah, thing. Sure, why not? Enough command block clocks work on a quick bucket server. I don't think they. Oh no, it's set block and stuff doesn't work yet. So I think I could just use a. Uh. Comparator clock. Oh, we're on bucket. Yeah. That's I right. set up this whole um, developer thing. Developer menu that um, out outputs a tell rod to the screen whenever I uh, jump. So it gives me all my tools and all the other stuff I need. Hmm. So when I have to do it manually, it just really annoys me now. What's up, girl? How you doing? I'm good. Whoa. What's the ID for cobwebs? 30. Three? 30. Ah, I got it anyways. Hey, Mosh, do you remember the command to, uh, like, show the block IDs on the next to the block? I forget it. It's like F... To B or something. Uh, F three H. F three H. There you go, Rixie. At. I did that already. It was like that, but I can't check it while I'm typing. Oh, okay. Three H. Okay, so that's if it's detecting right there. Now, if it's detecting one lower, let's try one lower. Like, so it's checking inside of oh, us. I'm gonna get out of there. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so if it's checking inside of the block, it's like that. But then you can also go under, right? Like, if it's checking right at the height of this block right now, and it's yeah. like this. If I go one higher, if I go 202, it's checking this. Yeah. Which is okay. kinda which is kinda cool. Yeah, I've been messing around with it on Calamity. I got the middle pads working so you um, they used to always favor the combine side by like, like two blocks. But now they're it's right on the bedrock. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what to do, actually. Should I do the star or should I do the three by three? The star is kinda cool. Uh, and it doesn't widen it too much. That's a shit ton of torches. What? Evia! Torches? Oh, right, you move the command point on the top down to the I middle, so. right? Yeah, it's an instant in the middle of the building. Yeah. I'm thinking I might change that to a star. I think that would look derpy. She said I'm busy making babies, greasy babies on the daily. Like, look in this keep here, it's kinda cool. Sliding in the gravy, making babies on the daily. What you up to, Rex? Huh? <laughs> so what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? Oh, uh, I'm about to switch my music up. Man, there's a big open area of chests. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to think, cause... The mechanics behind this were it's a time sink slash resource gathery area. If I remove all the hallways and obstacles and darkness, it no longer becomes that, and it just becomes a fuckload of obnoxious chests. <laughs> Honestly, there was a lot of chests. I know, it's a time sink! I know, That's the I idea. Know. Don't yell at me. Like, a lot, a lot. You're yelling at me, and I don't like it. That was my favorite part. Like, I think the first three times I played a Rampart, I... Skip the rest of the map and just ran this dungeon. You could be gathering chests like for half an hour and then <laughs> like it was just took a while. It really was. It really isn't. 
massive time sink. I'm thinking I might just leave this area a block. Yes, I will. I need to learn your world edit skills because that was awesome. That was undo, undo, undo. Shut but yeah, much. he is really, he is really quick at world edit. It is interesting just watching him. Got really good at it. Yeah, I've been using Fossil Sniper. Um, I won't use that because it's got that name on it. And people are like, the Voxel Bucks guys are good. And I'm like, they haven't introduced themselves to me. Fuck them. In that order. What? That's sad. Koopa's awesome. You ever met Koopa? <laughs> oh, that bitch. Whoa. <laughs> I don't actually know. I'm just talking shit. Can you add a piece of endstone in here somewhere? No, bit. hell no. <laughs> She Doesn't fit the bill, baby. You mean, you mean soul sand, right? No. Four soul sands. No! <laughs> is that wall staying out there now, or is it coming back eventually? He's removing walls everywhere. What are you talking about? In the lower area, towards the back end. What wall? All these. Are these walls coming back, or? No, they're done. Nice. Open it up for arrow fire. That's really cool. Yeah, I was thinking you could use um, Fe Disco's randomizer blah. to like blah. Blah. to ahead, um, control idea, similar like like you know how there's random spawns over the map, right? Because it's all nighttime all the time. You can use this Fe Disco's randomizer to control the bomb spawns. Oh yeah. Instead of, Ooh. yeah, control, Stop. have your own natural spawning instead of having a Minecraft natural, Minecraft natural spawning. Yeah, I thought about that, but, yeah, It's a lot of work. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, the natural spawning's fine. You can see my lever oh. system here. Can you explain to me why there's a shit ton of pigs back here? That's to prevent natural... Uh, passive mob spawns. Oh. Hmm. Why are you doing that? So random pigs and cows and stuff don't spawn? I like them. You do? Oh, okay. Well, okay I just got you in trouble, I'm sorry. <laughs> Plus, this looks like a vat of doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> My vat of pigs. <laughs> And not only that, there's lava dropping into the vat of doo doo, so it's really hot shit. Oh yeah, the, dro the droplets there. I wonder how. Um... Uh, no, you can't do natural mob spawns. Or you can't disable <laughs> natural <laughs> passive it. mob spawns. Wish the cat, the pigs had dropped. <laughs> oh, the pigs didn't drop. I was. Should have just was... deleted the floor and let them drop. <laughs> I was excited, that's why I was waiting around watching it. Oh, I like that you spread out the, the coal throughout the cave. Oh uh, yeah, that was just a easy fill and replace. I thought that would be a cool thing. Just to kind of, because it was all just plain spitstone everywhere. Yeah, that was just for the looks and the sex. Yep. sex is you like it smooth, Rix, yet? You know I do, baby! Let's move down there. No, he likes it rough with the coal, man. Mm-hmm. We also have this cow up top. I don't That's want cool. that. You don't want the mushroom? Oh. People no, like getting the mushroom soup all the time. No, 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 no. Yeah, I like that. Do that again. Okay. But I do have the gate mm. still. I upgraded the gate so it opens when they get close, like, instantly. That's with, good. With the uh, with the new command block f clock thing, so that's that works a lot better now. That's good. That's good. 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 Kind of just gonna leave the piston exposed so they can tell that it's gonna open for them. Mm 
Yeah, I don't actually use pistons anymore. Mm. Yeah, I was I was starting to get rid of the piston, but it was like I don't know. I just played the sound. Because then I have to set the block, and then uh, there's some issues and bugs where they can actually mm. farm blocks from that and stuff. And uh, I decided to just to uh, to spawn the mm. lever back and forth underneath the piston, and that was just as fat and just as good. <laughs> and um, mm. and it accomplished everything with uh, less command blocks and looked nicer and sounded nicer. So I, I, I'm using a piston. Oh my god. Whoa. Activating a piston. Oops, I broke a window here. Let's fix that. Ask of you, Drez, a hypothetical thing. Okay. Alright, so this is going to be a covered aqueduct bridge type thing. Yeah. It'll have a roof. A 3 by 24 roof. And I want there to be random blocks that you can step in in like a three by twenty four by six area above the bridge and I want there to be like if you walk into it it triggers like uh, some knockback and it hits you towards the, the cross lane and like on the signs on top of the bridge will say like warning strong gusts of wind um yeah you can throw random um, splash potions of something I guess just Random splash potions knock you back normally. Do they? Do, hmm. Do they? Maybe not. What could you use? I don't know. I mean, you could spawn like random silverfish or something that don't survive longer. You know? You you can't just tick somebody with knockback in a direction. You can't just apply velocity to a player automatically. No, not yet. That I can think of. That's bullshit. Oh wait. Uh. I can teleport them a direction relative to where they are. Like, I can teleport them 0.5 to the left. Hmm. That's the best I can think of. Harming potions knockback. Huh. Oh, and arrows. Okay, hmm. so can you, like, when someone stands in, like, a block, let me finish the bridge and then I, I can give you a more... Okay, let me uh, try the teleport. Let me see if that looks good. The arrows from the side won't feel like wind, though. Let me see. Bye bye, young gun. All right, Trez, chug it out. Radius equals four. Okay. Chug it out. I see. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I'm flying over. Okay. Oh, like on top. Okay, so I lied. It's gonna be a five by twenty-four by six. So like. A box above this, right? That's got random, like, little radiuses and whatever. And if you, like, if somebody gets all uppity and thinks they're just gonna cross this shit, maybe they will if they can dodge the translucent bubble shits, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, say one's here and they, they, they start running straight across, right? Say there's, like, three just in this straight line, right? And yeah. if someone walks into it, triggers it, all of a sudden they go, Boosh! And fly off in this direction. Hmm. Arrows is probably the easiest way to do that, right? No. How about invisible skeletons or something? Oh. Um, that, that would spawn in and then go away after a second or something. Yeah. I say skeletons or mobs or whatever, but... Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think that would work. Well... I don't know. I think that would look weird, too. Let me see. Is 
it, they'd still be shooting you. I suppose spawning in like a zombie there that just lives for a half a second that's invisible could knock them off um, with knockback to their their weapon, but you'd also have to mess with it a bit to make it so that it doesn't work in some places, which would be pretty hard. <laughs> now let me let me uh, let me play with something real quick. Okay. I have an idea. Let me see if this works. That could work. Um. Hmm. What is that? Let me, um. Okay, that's teleport closest person to. Let me just do. Alright, let me try this. Also, is there any way I could put, like, an emotion on a potion effect? Like, an emotion potion? <laughs> I have no idea, actually. I want whenever someone gets hit with this potion to feel really sad. What could make them sad? Hmm. Nasha. Okay, so what's that gonna do? <laughs> that was kinda cool. Oh! Okay, so what if there were just like 50 iron golems chilling on the bridge with like no particle effects and they're all like undiable? That would work. I still don't know about the the fact that um like there's you're going to create some weird uh no building outside of lane rules with this bridge. Well, I guess No, it's this, this is no this is no that. This is the same as anything else, I guess. Can you not place anything in that channel? All I want to do is make it a bitch to, like, immediately cross across the roof. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, let's do that and that. Why the fuck aren't ladders in transportation yet? I bitch about this every day. Huh, where the hell are they? Oh, they're in... Oh. Yeah. Decoration, because they're decorative. What the hell? They don't actually function yet, anyway. I like how the cactus graphic in the, the thing is broken. It keeps flashing. Ah, I figured it out, because I'm a genius. Why you're featured on Genius Map Making. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have to add a few more clocks, but you can check this out. Rick, see that. Where? Up on the spawn platform. <laughs> what is? Uh, basically, this is simulates that. If you touch the black block, it kind of throws you off. What did it do? Just it teleports you. I made it point eight blocks to the the side, basically, and it's just a sh such a short distance. It just looks like there was a little bit of a frame skip, but it kind of it's like a gust. I mean, I could make that larger and make it like one block to the side. I could change that. Oh, well, point nine. Oops, that's not much. Oops, let's make it one minus one. 
It only works on one person at the time, but we used it. Oh, there it goes. But yeah, if you get over the top of that black one, it kind of pushes you to the side. So yeah, you can have those like all the way all over the place, or I can have like. Can a you have? Can you have some moving farther than others? And yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's like I can make. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Let me add plus one. You can kind of randomize it too if you wanted to. I could do that, and let's make it up one. Uh, not really. You'd probably have to have a. Uh, clock at every individual positioning. Okay. But I gotta have it like that, and this will push you to one to the left, and like have one that pushes you one to the right in the next spot, or something like that. Okay, so let's say, yeah, this direction, where'd you go? I'm, I'm so th just yeah, right here. this direction here is towards cross lane, right? So I have like yeah. two on the far edge that'll push you completely off. And yeah, I'll try to get a hold of Sue away and we can work on this spawn platform at some point. So that needs work. It's messy. But basically, for the spawn platform, you can put these wherever you want. All I need is like a pressure plate to get into the trough, a pressure plate to get out of the trough, and the ready lever. For both sides. And those can be placed literally wherever you want. <clears throat> Oh, and a spectator boat thingy over here. Why is the platform this big? Um, that was the old, like, I cut off a bunch of stuff. Um, it was basically made this big so the tr troughs fit the, uh, where the the, tr the lanes are at. So that they can, uh... they can drop physically onto the lane. Which, um, I mean, these could be, the troughs technically could be hovering out in the middle or they could be attached to the main platform, either way. The troughs could be, like, by, on their own. I'll work on that with Sugoi sometime. Okay. I think I'm ready to finish Rampart. Yeah. See this lever? I like... This lever right there is cool. What's going on? Oh, you look out and... Yeah, you can hit the lever. Like that. And that's it. And that'll work. Just fine. Yeah, you test for block. I know, right? It's great. It's hilarious. Love it. Are okay, you using set block to get rid of all that stuff or? Get rid of what? The blocks below them. Yeah. Nice. Which I haven't installed yet. Actually I have the blocks there, I just need to put in all the code for them. Yesterday I learned jump boost two fifty five gets rid of all fall damage. Really? Well, yeah. Well, resistance does too. Oh, I just thought of something. Hmm. Let me see. Yeah, I didn't take a um a tilting tick though when I. You know what I mean? No, hold on. What? You stick. I didn't take a uh. You know, like when you have when you take damage, like you kind of jump to the side. A little bit. Yeah. Um. What am I? Are you doing something to me? No. Um, with jump boost. Two fifty five. When you land, you don't take that falling tick, and you, your reset doesn't. Your, whatever it is, you know what I mean. Oh, you just it's, land softly. Yeah, you just still get like the um the sound effect, but like it doesn't jilt your screen. Allow me to take a moment to play the most sexual song known to man. Oops, that's supposed to be... That? You died. <laughs> yeah, it's the soft landing. Wait, Maybe. this isn't the right one! I'm trying to stop them from sprinting. That's I wonder if there's a way to stop them from sprinting. Here it is. Slowness yeah, one is, is the only thing. Yeah. Like, would there be a way... Like, Oh, um, if you, you give them blindness, sprinting. they can't sprint if they're blind. Oh, so like a half a tick of blindness. So it's the, too windy, you is, can't see winds in your eyes. Yeah, every time the wind goes off, I want it to like stop their sprinting. Blindness at night is a problem though, I think, isn't it? Well, I'd just have the blindness tick on them for a split second, just to, so they can't, they stop sprinting. Ah, that's clever. 
I had it teleport them up one also, which I don't know if is a good idea or not. I just had it just keep it to the side one. I think keep it to the side one. It feels a little smoother. Yeah. Because you also kind of slow down when you... Yeah, I know. That, like, when it teleports you up into the air, you seem to keep your speed easier. That's weird. I was teleporting them up into the air trying to prevent their speed to stay as fast as it was, but... That's really weird. That's weird. I'm not getting any sprint lag now. Yeah. So, teleporting them up into the air was... Actually teleporting them out of the radius sometimes and getting them out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's this good. wouldn't change the rules any. I just want... At least for the immediate start, for it to maybe kind of be a bitch to cross the top of that. Actually, you know what? Just let it be. Yeah? Yeah. Because that can be something the Keep Defender can do. That's good, because I was dreading putting a couple more, a few more clocks in. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let me get a look at this. Or it'll just add a little bit more strategic. I guess Keep Defender can't really do that, so that's some shots. It'll make Brick City a bit more. And they can place blocks on top of the tunnel? Oh yeah. Okay. But not to the side of it? Whole new lane. Or maybe that's they interesting. can. Well, I suppose well, people no. are digging I down guess... to the cave anyways. Hmm. Let me think. I need to meditate, alright? The best I can think of is I can put a wall of that block 36, like, right here. Like, between both lanes, so they can't... They can't bridge across, technically. I don't want to put it through the whole map, but... I don't even know about doing this, either, because I don't know what it will... It's a lot more Block 36. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. don't even worry about that. Okay. Basically, that's an that's a honor system thing we can't really do anything about yet. It's so weird seeing that wide open. It feels good. Seeing what? The wide open walls on... Yeah, it'll, it'll be a lot more cross-lane fire. Yeah. And you can... Yeah, you can protect your teammates on the other side and stuff. You can cover I them. like that. Yeah, I wouldn't know there's immediately a control point under there unless someone explained it to me. Yeah, that's my only problem with that. Why is it there? Um. Bricks? I don't know. I think it was the guard the spawner, wasn't it? It was just to, yeah, kind of guard the spawner and guard, protect the point. Maybe put it up in the air so they can see there's a thing in the ground. Oh. Oh, hey, yeah, raise, raise this whole thing up one block. And it'll look like some kind of hovering thing. That might look kind of cool. Like some factory thing. And then the spawner will still be protected. <laughs> That'd be cool if we kept the particle effect too. That actually looks really sweet. <laughs> yeah, probably don't need that obsidian thing up there now. That's kind of oh, weird. that's because this is it that's falling a, off the spawner? Or no, that's a, a that's a bug. That's a graphical oh, bug. Oh, it, it'll be gone if sucks. you log off and log on. Because uh, that particle affects our client side, and it stays. It doesn't update right. I'd like to see a fire in the middle of that. Um. Yeah. Too much lighting it would get off. It's lighting 15. Yeah, so. Wouldn't be able to get the 
the creepers to spawn. Though they do have like a large spawn radius, they spawn like almost everywhere in this room. The day the funk died. Random blue flower. Was it 1979? The day the funk died? <laughs> yeah, you know what's up. <laughs> Are you done, Rix? You're done. Huh? You done? Yeah. Alright, let me save this current state of the map. I think that's all the Minecraft I can handle for today after... Like two months away from it. First time I played 1.7, so... Allow me to take this <laughs> to take this moment to cordially and formally invite any uh, sword bearers in my stream who also uh, have me on Skype to play a little bit of Starbound with me uh, for about an hour or so before I uh, finish off that bottle of Robitussin and violently masturbate as many times as I can before I pass out. It's resetting itself because I don't think you're on blue team. Allow me to, to uh, reiterate what I said in, in a less uh, foggy like way. Uh, I'm not inviting you to drink Robitussin and, and help me masturbate. I'm inviting you to play Starbound with me prior to my doing the thing. Alright, you two. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Alright, thanks, Rixiot. It's been good. Bye, babies! Good to see you. Talk yeah. to you. Likewise, Mama Titties. Bye.